We're jumping straight into today's guide on creating high-impact email campaigns with MailerLite's user-friendly drag-and-drop editor. We're using email to build deeper connections and beat the changing social media algorithms. For today's task, imagine being a YouTuber launching a cookbook and wanting a stress-free way to engage with your audience. Sound good? Let's get to it. From your dashboard, there are two ways to create a campaign. First is to click the Create button and then select Create Campaign. The second is to head over to Campaigns in the left navigation and select Create Campaign. From there, you've got four options for different campaign types to create, starting with Auto Resend Campaign that automatically sends an email to your subscribers if they didn't open your email the first time around, RSS Campaigns, which lets you automatically send an email to your subscribers whenever new content is published on your website or blog, AB Split Campaigns, where you can send two emails and test which one performs better with your list, and a regular campaign, which you can use to send regular emails to your subscribers, and that's what we're doing with this one. We've got video tutorials on how to set up each of these campaign types, so be sure to check them out in the description below. Start by giving your campaign a name. Let's call ours Cookbook Launch. Now, keep in mind that the subject line is often the number one deciding factor for whether your email gets opened or not. I mean, come on, if I got an email that said, buy my cookbook, and one that said, Alex, we finally did it. Which one do you think I'm opening? And yes, with personalizations, you can get their name to show up in the subject line and elsewhere in the email. And we'll go over that later in the video. We did a deep dive on using our AI subject line generator to boost open rates in a previous video. Now is where it really shines. Hit suggest for the subject line generator. Let's select a friendly tone for an announcement and prompt it with create a title celebrating a cookbook launch. After hitting generate, We'll select one of the results and then add some emojis and a personalization to make it a touch more engaging. For more information on how personalizations work, check out the video linked in the description below. Next up, let's have your sender's name and email paint a clear picture of you or your business. And don't forget, you've got to verify any email address before sending a campaign from it. If you need help with that, we've got an article and tutorial linked below. Now we get to fill in the preheader. You want it to relate to the title and content you'll put within the email. Let's go with, we've planned this launch for months. Thanks for your amazing support. Now, let's select our recipients. Depending on who's in your list, you may want to select a particular group or segment. Groups are folders where your subscribers are put when they sign up for your newsletter. A segment would be like when someone on your list clicks a link in your email and is put into a specific category. For example, Everyone that clicked on the Support My Cookbook link in the last campaign would be a cookbook segment within my subscriber group. To learn more about groups and segments, check out the video linked in the description below. Don't forget to track opens, set UTM tags if you're connected to Google Analytics, and track purchases with the Track Links button. Moving on, let's tackle the drag and drop editor. Keep in mind that we're only going to do a brief overview for this tutorial, so take a look at the video link below for an in-depth view at the editor. The editor comes loaded with the default template, but we're going to start by heading to the templates section and selecting the book release template. This template has a lot of useful blocks that we can keep, but we want to make it our own and don't need each block included here. Let's go through the design and talk about the building blocks of an effective email. Head over to the top of the left sidebar in the navigation category. Add a logo with a button at the top of the email by selecting an image from your file manager. It's an instant brand reminder and also looks nice. We'll customize the look by removing the padding at the top and bottom, and you can customize the button text and color to fit something a bit more on brand. Next, head over to the Hero section in the left sidebar and drag the Image Below Text block. This block will help you grab the recipient's attention and quickly let them know what the email is about. Follow that with some personalization. Highlight the first word in the title block and click the hashtag button that appears in the text formatting options. Here, you can add a personalization directly in the email. Select name, and we'll add a thank you. Now you're ready to reel them in with your hook. Let's try huge thanks to each and every one of you. With your support, we sold over 200 books in the first hour. Now let's add an image of our book below for a relevant image. For this email, let's add a standard text block for the main copy. Remember to keep your language natural and speak to your audience in the way that you would in person. Now I wanna take your attention to some global settings. Click to the right of the middle section, and you'll notice the right sidebar change to show template and settings at the top. This will let you adjust the styling of all blocks in the email from layout options to fonts, color, and more so that it matches your branding. And remember, you can always make block-specific changes with the edit button when you hover over a block. With this email, I want to engage my readers with a quick survey. I'll add a basic one for now. 
but for an in-depth look, check out the tutorial link below. Click into the survey block. On the right sidebar, change the title to I want to hear from you. Next, fill in a description for the survey. Click Save, then add a question template. Click the drop-down and select Open Question. Now enter your first question. We'll finish it by adding an outro, expressing our gratitude for their time. Now you'll see that the question text here is comically large compared to the rest of our email. Let's fix that by going down to the content style and editing the question styling. Hit Save, and let's move on. Lastly, let's add a final text section to close out the main body of the email. Your email campaign can't be sent if it doesn't have both a footer and unsubscribe link. Luckily, this block is included with the template. So all you need to do is customize your social links and make sure you've entered your postal address. You can also customize the unsubscribe link text in the right sidebar. It just needs to be clear enough to the subscriber that they can unsubscribe if they wish to. Let's go ahead and adjust the block background color to match our theme. And that about does it for your email design. I know it can seem like a lot of work, but if you like this design, you can save it as a template by clicking into the Actions drop-down and Save as a Template, so you don't have to recreate your emails from scratch every time. When you're satisfied with the design, hit Done Editing. And now that you've crafted your email campaign, it's time to review before sending. You can double-check your subject line and make any edits you'd like. Make sure your sender name is correct, verify tracking options, and ensure you're sending to the correct recipients. On the right side, you'll see a preview of your email and have the option to make any final edits. Now it's time to send your campaign or schedule it for later. I typically like to schedule these out several days ahead, since I feel like it gives me some time to plan out future campaigns as well. I want my subscribers to receive this email at 9am, but they're in different time zones. Not a problem. You can hit this button to make sure it arrives at 9am wherever they happen to be. Just make sure you schedule the email at least one day before it's supposed to arrive in their inbox. If you want to double check everything before it goes out, send a test email to yourself and preview your design one last time. Once you're ready to go, hit schedule. And there you have it, a successful email campaign ready to launch. I hope this guide has helped you out. There is a lot that can go into an email, so feel free to go back through the chapters and review any details, and check out our other videos to take a deep dive into MailerLite's many other features. Thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more great tips, and I will see you in the next video.